everyone, Paul from Fantastic Scale Modeler. Welcome to another review. Today I have a review. I'm going to do two kits at once. Put them in because they're quite specialist. They don't want to do them individually, and people want to see both. So they're going to be done side by side uh, as we go. Uh, both resin kits, both made by uh, Reggie or Reggie, I suppose it is, and distributed by Spot Model uh, out of Spain. Now I've seen this on pre-order, which is the Audi Quattro uh, Sport. Uh, the Groupie Rally Car and the RS200 Groupie Rally Car, both immense favourites of mine. I grew up watching these things, spitting flames, flying around forests and rally courses all over the world. Love the Groupie Rally Cars and I saw this before it was released, the uh, the Audi Quattro. Uh, love the look of it, I love the short wheelbase Audi, I think it's fantastic. Watched it, waited for it, it came into stock eventually, and while I was there, I thought, right, I'll buy that one, and I've got to get the RS200, because I love it. Absolutely love the RS200. Um, not cheap kits at all. Full resin, photo etch, vac form, etc. Uh, not for the beginner builder, and certainly not for the faint of heart either. Uh, I think this one was 110 or £112, and this one was 108 Both of them delivered, it was like £120 delivered for the pair of them. Uh, Sorry, £228 living for the pair of them, my bad. And like I say, I got them from Spot Model in Spain. So, like I say, huge fan of Group B rally cars, whether it be the Audi, the Ford, um, there's the Lancia uh, Delta, was it the S4? I have to get the name now, S54, can't remember now. Um, there was the Lancia Rally, the Z037, uh, the Peugeot TI uh, 16, uh, Metro 6R4. Oh, any others you can think of? Um, there was loads, and they were all just mental cars, overpowered, uh, always on their limits, and they eventually got banned because a few spectators who used to love jumping in front of the things got killed, and I think that was to the demise of the sport. Right, so onto the kits. So, well packaged, nice box art on them. Uh, we deal with one at a time on the box art, beautiful Audi Quattro, and it's stereo, you know, it's typical markings. Absolutely beautiful scheme, the big alloys, yellow strips, spots on the front, not the best picture if I'm honest, but it's an iconic car, one of my favourites, and that was the car that dominated the Group B's in my opinion, absolutely beautiful, and one of Ford's best ever, the RS200, uh, fantastic car, absolutely crazy as a box of fraud, absolutely mentally quick, four wheel drive the pair of them, um, that thing just was absolutely nuts. Um, there was a road going version of this car, uh, very similar to the rally, not spec, but speed kind of. I think it hit 60 in like two and a half, three seconds. Because they were uh, homologated, they had to produce them for the road, and Ford actually did bring these out as road going cars. Uh, not rally spec as this, but road going legal spec, and they were nuts, absolutely nuts. Um, the Quattro Sport is probably my favourite one of the lot. I love the look of the thing, absolutely fantastic. Uh, and if I don't stop waffling on, I'll be here talking about it all day. So, let's see what we get in the box. Both, like I say, both well packaged. I'm going to get everything out of the box. So, a bit of tissue in there, a bit of um, protective covering. We've got several bags of resin. As you can see, we've got the main body shell, as you can see. Vac form, windows, etc. Rubber tyres. And instructions and it'd be exactly the same in the Ford but obviously different components so what we'll do as we go through there we'll grab the bits out of this and look at them side by side I don't want to be reviewing two separate kits but I also don't want to be here all day so instruction book like I say rubber tires vac form there's a canopy put some canopy it's your windscreen glass etc plenty of parts in there you're going to need a lot of clean up and also the main body. So we'll get the body out first, it's the body and the floor pan. So as you can see, it's quite rough and ready, but it's an iconic short wheelbase Audi shape, which I absolutely love. It's going to need a lot of clean up, all this flash it needs to come out the vents, the windows, etc. But, oh, don't drop it Paul, for Christ's sake. It is very well cast, it's very well moulded. We can get the camera to focus. Have a look at so the front grille, all the side detail, it is beautifully crisp. Like I say, get rid of all the flash, bit of clean up, job done. So it will look good once done. Like I say, it's an iconic body shape 
that came from the Audi. Um, uh, 124 scale, I've got to mention that as well. Floor pan, excellent detail underneath. You've got all the four wheel drive system, the transfer boxes, prop shaft, drive shafts, other components underneath. So, again, nice bit of detail underneath. Very basic inside, that's a floor pan of the car, and again, a lot of cleanup required there. So, there's the Audi. Uh, like I say, no problems there. I'm going to lock this back in the box because it's worth a hell of a lot of money. I don't want to break it. I have had a sneaky look at these, I've had these over a week. There was no way I could get them and not look in the boxes, so that was not going to happen. If I grab the Ford very quickly, and we'll go for the body shell on this. Now, I did look at this one. And there was a little bit of damage, which I repaired. It was literally a crack in the body. It's a bit more of a complex shape on the RS200. Um, so, it's obviously suffered in transit. I'm trying to remember where the hell it was. So you've got a roll bar, as you can see. That's going to need a bit of treatment in warm water to straighten it up. have got the upper body shell, the lower. Oh, and the chassis again. This is a bit more substantial. It's a different colour resin. This is the older yellow stuff, which I believe is more damaging. Now, the newer one, that's brand new, that Audi Quattro. This is a lot older. This was the last one they had in stock. They are limited edition, so if you go through the Spot Mobile site, you'll see where the older ones, you just cannot get them anymore. That's like 6R4. I'd love the 6R4. It's gone. It's out of production. So, unless you can find one second hand, you're not going to get it. But they're going to need a lot of cleanup. This one seems to be a lot dirtier than the other one. And this is a lot heavier, a lot thicker as well, so you may have a bit more clean upon this. There's also no uh, detail underneath at all. Whether the original car had any detail underneath, I'm not 100% sure. I would assume so. Uh, but I know a lot of these had a lot of skid plates on and what have you. So there's the very lower chassis. We have the front section, the front bonnet, which... Yeah, does that mould straight? Ah, uh, yes, that has actually broken off as well. I didn't realise that when I bought it. But that part's actually snapped off too. So, yeah, that has got damage in transit. I thought these were separate parts, but that part is actually broken off. So, again, that's going to need a bit of super glue. Maybe a touch of filler. But the beauty of resin is, once it's glued, it's nice and strong. So I thought these were two separate parts, but looking at it now, I can see they're not. It's actually broken off in transit. So again, a slight shame. This stuff, the yellow stuff, seems a bit more brittle than the old, uh, the newer tart style. But it's not much of a bother. It's a bit of a pain. Like I say, you line it up, the seam disappears, bit of super glue, job done. So I'm not really overly concerned. I'm trying to remember the bit of damage was. I think it was on. Was it on this? Do you see what I mean? It's that easy to repair. <laughs> Once you super glue it, you can't find it again. But there was a part that was cracked. It's separated away. There it is there. So we can get to focus. It was literally on that B pillar, just by my rather dirty fingernail. I just ran down the back there. So I just put a look there, as you can see it better inside. Just down there. So I ran a little bit of super glue in, not a problem at all. And like I say, once I start getting this to the stage, I get off to the stage where we know we get a bit more complete, I will glue the front on. But the rear lifts up by the look of it, like the proper car does, so you can actually see what's inside. So, like I say, a little bit disappointing to find broken parts, but because it's resin, it is going to happen, unfortunately. Like I say, you can see the part I originally super glued and it's gone together fine. This roll cage is going to take a bit of manipulation to get it back in shape. It may almost be worth just scratch building one for the sake of it. But we'll pop that in the back where it came from and I'm going to wrap it up. Might be a bit tedious watching me wrap it up, but as you can see, it's rather easily broken. And I don't want any more damage. Like I say, although it's disappointing that it's a broken part, uh, if you can find another decent RS200 model, please go and buy it because I don't know of any other than, I think, is it KJR or KJP do die count, uh, white metal ones? can't remember now. Other than that, I don't know anybody else that does one. So, like I say, a bit disappointing that one's a bit damaged, but it's by the by. We grab a quick bag of bits. Um, like I say, don't expect a shake and bake kit, because you're going to have a lot of parts. They're going to need a lot 
and I mean a lot of cleanup. Uh, you've also got dangerous resins, so you're going to have to wear a face mask. I'd go for a respirator myself. Gloves. Should really have gloves on just handling this stuff alone. Never mind anything else. So, we have a door card, nicely detailed. So, you've got the window wiper, the armrest, door pocket, etc. So, very nicely detailed, I think it goes that way around. We have another identical one, same detail, bit of clean up, probably a bit of warpage in there, I would say. Maybe not, though. Uh, we have what I'm assuming a roll. Roll bar parts again, nice and crispy done. There's another one, there's another one, there's another one. So there's a lot of parts. There's the main part of the roll cage itself again, very nicely made. Not going to be too difficult to cut off because they're not full on stuck to the, uh, the plug. Probably get that off with a knife. I'm assuming that's a skid plate, as to is that one. And holy crap, that is thin. That bit you remove, and again. Nicely warped, so again, hot water, the straightening out, and then glue it in position in one go, so you get it all in position. Uh, exhaust, again, nicely cast, very nicely done. We have something, I am not percent sure what that is, it's very nicely done though, really nice. Uh, cross members, I assume, other parts, a grill, very nice. More roll cage, dashboard, that's quite nice. Look at that, I'm assuming there's all decals in there for the dashboard. So that's nicely cast, buttons, etc., dials, whatnot. Seat, I'm assuming that's a spoiler, so yeah, the rear spoiler. Again, nicely done. And two sports seats, so probably going to be Sparco or uh, another brand, maybe Recaro. It doesn't look like Recaro, it's looking like Sparco to me. Don't know, but again, a lot of flash to clean off, but they do depict the seats very well. Harnesses, I'm not sure what you do about harnesses, whether you make your own, but I bet there's people, well, manufacturers out there, probably from the spot model you can get. But again, very nice seats, identical, and they're gonna look very nice painted up. Maybe flock them for a good look. Uh, I'm not sure about the interior color on this, uh, but you can get flock in a multitude of colors, stick it on, and it does look. Rather convincingly like fabric, I'm gonna again pop all these back in their bags. I am not mucking about with this thing. I'm not risking any damage. Because all you gotta do is repair the damage yourself. So I'd rather avoid it if possible. Like I say, I should really have gloves on. And then the resin because the dust on your fingers so they don't rub your eyes or nothing. Can be a problem. Am I going to get the seats in there? Yeah, what I'd also advise if you take things like this out of the bag and you left with the resin bits, put them back in the bag because there may be something in there that's snapped off that you may need that could well and truly be glued back on in position. So I'm going to pop them in, I'll sort them out properly later. To make sure it's all in properly. So there's the major components for the Audi. If we go through, oh my god, there's a lot of them. The major components for the Ford. So basically the interior parts. Let's watch the time on this, it's gonna be a long review. So you hear a long haul, a lot of dust in there. So what have we got? We've got one ginormous turbo. I can't remember the size of the turbo on the uh, RS200, but I imagine it to be big. And uh, probably have an anti-lag system on it. Dashboard, very nice again. Nicely depicted. We have engine. Again, nicely detailed. You could always spruce it up with some wiring, which is what I'll do. Especially this bonnet can be uh, boot bonnets can be opened. We got an inner, I'm assuming it's an inner wheel arch because it's a um, it's a separate chassis on this because the RS200 was built ground up Group B rally car. Um, it's been built like a I can't think of the word now. Like a ladder chassis is that the correct term? I can't remember now. All the various engine components, seat, very nice seat. And they look a bit more Recaro esque. Very nice. They're a bit cleaner than the other ones as well. So very nice, we got more, looks like a cooling system, nice depicted, oh, I'm not sure what that is, 
There was suspension, it looks like it's got mounts there, no idea, but again, nicely done. Another nicely done chassis part that's going to be an absolute nightmare to get off that plug. Another inner wheel arch, another inner wheel arch. Why do we have three and two? And no more. Strange, we will go through the parts and double check that. So there you go, another nice load of parts, seats, turbo huge. Without uh, the anti lag system, these things would have had a hell of a, lot of a turbo lag. But again, nice impressive parts. So there you go, there's an ideal. That's a part that probably needs sticking back on. The rest of it looks like flash, it can go in the bin. Just make sure you have a good look what you're throwing away. Make sure it's not something you need. There we go, we'll keep going through the four because there's two more bags there, we've got wheels. So we'll, there's another bag of wheels, so yeah, we'll try and keep them on track together. Loads of little parts in this. I think there's a higher part count on the Ford. So we have something, looks like a sail. Suspension components, so wishbones, etc. Steering wheel, your typical Ford, three spoke, sport wheel. Uh, another part, no idea. Triangle, no idea. Another component there, not sure what that is. Quite hard to tell. Another one there. That's a light on that, could be a spotlight by the look of it. We have the in mirrors, sorry, gear stick. I'm assuming that's a gear stick. A few other parts. Again, I don't know which is the cleaner resin, radiator or intercooler. Um, I'm going to see what the size of that. Ooh, could be an intercooler, not sure. Um, I'm not sure which is the cleaner resin, to be honest. More of these parts. Alternate, uh, sorry, dry belt and pulley. I think the yellow mm, seems to be less flash. We've got pipes, looks like it could be an alternator. An intake or another mirror maybe, and another component, fire extinguisher, exhaust. This must be a front plate of some sort. More mirrors, unless the other two are scoops, then maybe the intake scoops off the roof actually. Indicator stalk, exhaust manifold I'm assuming that is. And again, that's about it for that lot. So again, a lot of parts in there, I've got no idea what they are. Um, a lot of flash to remove again, but like I say, this isn't a kit for a beginner. And again, be gentle with all the parts, because resin is quite delicate. As long as you take your time with it, you should be fine. So I think they're all the process, uh, process, order of build process, there we go, on this would be to literally sit down one night with your respirator on, face mask, gloves. I had to put a wet piece of kitchen towel down and saw into that because the wet catches any dust rather than getting airborne. And sit there and cut off and clean up every single component so that you're actually ready to go and then you can start assembling with having to stop, glue, clean up the dust. I would get it all out of the way in one go. It's going to be very laborious and boring, but once it's out of the way and done, you can get on with the build then. Right, so back onto the Audi parts. We have four wheels, very nicely cast, a lot of clean up again. So very, very nice. We have brake discs and calipers. So two of those again, very nice. Again, quite a bit of clean up, but should be too much of a drama. We have suspension components. So again, we've got a lot of warpage. As you can see, so again, you're going to be there with the hot water again. So I'm assuming we've got front and, bone, front and rear, are they wishbones? F front and rear brake pads and discs, so again, they're there again. Very nice, and more suspension components. A lot of cleanup, it's mostly flash. So it shouldn't prove that difficult, hopefully. Um, you get most of that off with a knife, you could probably pull most of it off like that, to be honest. Um, but like I say, not a kit for the faint-hearted at all. Not at all. So what we'll do, we'll do both of these Audi ones, and then we'll get through the last par bag on the Ford. And then we're on to tyres, which look almost identical. Decals, etc, etc. 
So as you can see the resin is high quality. I've got a, a few parts there, they're gonna be quite tricky to to sort out, but other than that, I don't want you to get cleaned up. Most of the hard work's done. And you can crack on. So we have three somethings on very wafer thin resin. They are very, very thin parts. We have, I'm assuming, they are spotlights, are they? Not sure, there's four of them. Six of them. So I'm not sure about that. I'll show you one of them now. Hmm. Not sure, I'm going to come a little bit closer on this, actually. I'll do it, put the camera back as I knock it. So there's six of those. We'll look at the instructions, what they are. Again, that looks like a fire extinguisher to me. A few of the mirrors, interior mirror, it's nicely done. Exhaust again, nice and crisply uh, cast. Cool expansion tank by the look of it, could be power steering, I assume. I think these are power steering, I don't know. Gear stick and linkage, I assume that's what that is. Steering wheel, again, the iconic Audi steering wheel. Little man putting his arms in the air, I'm not sure what that is. And again, another vessel or expansion tank of some description. And clutch, accelerator, brake for the old uh, left foot braking. Again, casting a different colour texture, so they must have taken that off a different kit to save cost. But there you go, a load more components. I will have a look what those six components are in the instructions. I can only assume they are spotlights. I most probably am wrong, I'm not sure. But again, quite a bit of cleaning up there. We'll check it out, I don't know what that is, but the rest of it can bugger off. So there's all the major components on the Audi. One bag left on the Ford, and like I say, the part count on the Ford is a lot higher than the Audi. I'd say there's almost double the parts on the Ford. Look at the size of those wheels. Huge, huge wheels. They are big. So, very nice wheels. So the two, four, six, eight spoke alloys. Again, iconic to the RS200. So again, you've got quite a bit of clean up there. So one, two, three, four, five, because the spare wheel was in the boot of the RS200. I say the boot and the engine bay in the boot, and five of these wheels. There's the wheel themselves. A lot of clean up there. A hell of a lot of clean up. Like I say, get all the clean up out of the way and you can enjoy the build. We have four discs and calipers, as you can see. So again, very nice. Nice detail on those. We have a couple of scoops or flaps of some sort. There we go. Is that a broken part? Could well be. No, they're just loose, so they come off the... Yeah, snapped off parts. So we have four of these. So there's two, and there's the other two. With a couple of broken parts. So again, make sure you keep hold of those. We'll put them in a wheel so you don't lose them. So there's four of those. There's the two broke. Sorry, no, it's not. We haven't looked at those. There's the two broke ones. There's two complete. So they're there with the ones that are broke. Again, easy enough to stick on. Two of these things, which I have absolutely no idea what they are. Somebody out there is probably shouting at me. That they're, you know flange, bucket, lifter, cam things, but I'm not sure what they are to be honest, there you go. We have something else, I've got no idea what it is, but again no problems there, that one's not warped, and last of all a tray of some description. So there we go, all through the parts, like I say, again I think the clean up's easier on the RS200 myself, I think there's less clean up to it. And like I say, I believe the grey resin is less harmful than the yellow, but still take precaution because any resin particles are carcinogenic. They will cause cancer over prolonged exposure and bits like this I shouldn't be wafted around. So they go in my hand, in the drawer, and then I do that, which I shouldn't be doing really, but I am. So there's all the components. We've got tyres of each one. 
five I want. They are different because the Ford. Actually, the Audi has wider tyres than the Ford. We'll pop one out. We'll have a look at each one. So yeah, soft rubber. Seen down the middle, slicks. No detail around the edge of the tyre. Whether there's decals with the kit, I can't remember. We'll have a look in a minute. It might be aftermarket ones out there that include uh, names on there, etc. But again, no real problem there. So four of those in the Audi, all identical. Not a problem on any of them. Five in the Ford. Again, slightly different rubber. Not as low profile, not as wide, although the wheels look actually wider, there must be a lot to cut off those. And again, no drama, no centre seam on these ones, which is a bit better. It's right on the edge there instead. <laughs> Probably almost be easier for the middle. So there you go, so five of those, they're all identical in there as well. Again, no writing, uh, makers writing on the tyres themselves. So that'll be something I definitely look at what you can get tyre-wise. Maybe there's some resin ones out there. I don't know. Right, now, last bag of tricks. So we have the vac form. Uh, glass. We have PE. Uh, clear parts. So, the vac form windows are... They are nice. There's a little bit of pitting in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Probably won't pick it up. There you go. Right at the front in the centre. A little bit of pitting here and there. But I suppose you can see there were stone chips. Overall, pretty clear. Not too bad at all. I've seen better though. I'm not going to lie. But that's about the buy. If you want to, I suppose you can replace it with acetate if you're clever enough to stick it in. For me, I'll give these a whirl. So, there's the clear parts on the Audi. We have light lenses, indicator lenses, etc. They are really nicely done with the actual cast texture of the indicator, etc. So, again, very nice. Hopefully, they'll fit on properly. So, there's the clear parts and the glass. I'm going to do each one of these separately because we might as well. PE for the Audi, so we have grills, various parts, seatbelt harnesses, so there we go, there's the uh, the clips of the seatbelt, the fo uh, window wipers, bits of the, I'm going to assume the frame, there's a lot of parts in there, uh, it's Edouard PE, although it doesn't say it because that distinctive writing on the top, and uh, made in the Czech Republic at the bottom, so Edouard makes the PE, so there'll be no problems with the PE there, there's a Rally Monte Carlo, uh, 85, 80, Oh, just 985, I thought it said 86, couldn't read. So again, high quality photo etch, not self-adhesive, thank God. So that's going to give you no problems at all. Those window wipers are lovely. Very, very delicate. You can see there, they're going to look fantastic. A lot of parts there, you've got the uh, it's a six point harness. Two, yeah, six point harness on there. All the associated clips, grills, etc. there. So they should not cause any drama whatsoever. There's the Audi's parts in there. So all we've got left now is the decals and the instructions on the Audi. And we'll do the Ford parts as well. So a little bit of pitting on that glass, which is a bit of a shame. Whether the Ford's going to have that, I don't know. So these are packaged separately. Yeah, the Ford has it too. But it does have built into the side its little sliding window part there, which is nice. There are a few parts on the back with that very small pitting, but overall it's a lot better than I was showing. I might contact Spot Model about that actually and uh, mention. Um, I might actually mention A, my broken bodywork, and B, the uh, clear glass on the uh, the Audi as well. Overall that's definitely better um, than the Audi one. We shall see if I get a response from Spot Model and what it is. Maybe I can get it before this video goes up. I'll tag it on when I edit it. Clear parts. So we have those big big rear light lenses which again nicely textured inside. Really really nice. 
and headlight covers, indicator covers, spotlight covers, again, textured inside and they look absolutely great, brilliant, very very nice. So we'll pop those away and we'll get the photo etch for the Ford. Which is in the decals. Yeah. So there's a the difference with this. We actually get an Edward instruction sheet. No, we don't. <laughs> it's just a piece of paper cover on the back. My bad. So again, uh, yeah, Edward, Main Czech Republic. A lot more P on this kit as well. I can zoom us out a little bit so you can see it a bit better. So again, you've got the same parts. You've got window wipers, grills. Wheel rims, I'm assuming this is part of the underneath uh, for the skid plates, etc. Uh, we've got seatbelt parts. There's a lot more P for this one, and it is very nicely done. Ah, now look, you see what we get on this one, which I didn't see on the other. No, we don't get that on the other. You've got the mask for the tyres to spray on the Pirelli P7. So that's a nice touch. Whether they shared the same type of tyre, I don't know, it'd be handy if they did, but if not, I'll look for a mask. That's a nice touch, thank you very much for that. That's going to save a bit of hassle. And again, overall P quality is second to none. Absolutely brilliant. Um, there's lots of nice parts in there. Very, very, the mesh there is absolutely beautiful. Beautifully done. Really nice, top marks. And that's that. So, decals. Start with the Audi. Much bigger decal sheet on the Audi than the Ford. We'll move the Ford one out of the way for a second. So there you go. There's all the upside down. Oh, they're both upside down. Uh, made in house by the look of it. There's no manufacturer on the car scrap or nothing. We've got number plates, the yellow stripes, all the sponsorship um, by HB International. We've got Michelin decals. I'm assuming they're for the tyres. Uh, we'll look at the instructions in a minute. Loads of other um, sponsorship markings. Yeah, Monte Carlo uh, rally decals there, as well as the numbers, etc., etc. Stig Blomfest and oh, I can't say that word. Rule, rule. Uh, drivers' names and co-pilots' names. Instruments, very nice. And again, they don't look too bad a decal actually. Then. Not thick at all by the look of it. They shouldn't be any trouble at all, I don't think. They're really nice. They're all in register. They all look like they're supposed to. It's a manufacturer's name or whatever. They look like the real thing. And overall, they are very, very nice. There's quite a few on there. Hopefully, they'll all come up with one go. Um, but certainly, that'll be the time to really take your time. Recaro seats. There must be Recaros in there then. And are they in the other one? I'm not sure. We'll get to that in a minute. I had a feeling they were Caro's. And there you go, so there's the decals for that. You want to have a look, have a little pause, you never look at them all. But they are very nice, and they're what's going to make this car look like what it's supposed to be. So I'll lock that in there. We've got about 10 minutes left of review. I had to keep these to 45 minutes, which isn't bad because we've gone through both. We'll go through the instructions quickly. So, the instruction book, um, all the parts are laid out on the front. As you can see, all the PE, handmade part, which would be an antenna. The photocopy, they're not stuck together, so not the best instructions. But going for all the parts systematically, what's what. They are spotlights on the front, I thought they would be. Comes to the closer one, there you go, there's those six components. That's going to be fantastic with all those spots on the front, and I will definitely be doing it with all the spots on. For the night stages, very very nice. There you go, there's the markings. Beautiful car. Absolutely stunning car. Fantastic. Very, very, very nice. So beautiful yet again. Onto the rear parts, you've got the roll cage, dashboard, the seats, showing the harnesses. Are they not the decals really? Nice there them. Mm. M3. No, uh, that's a photo edge, so I don't know what you're making those out of, I'll have to look into that. 
and again fairly straightforward the instructions are basic but it doesn't look to be too bad of a build so the only handmade part is the antenna and to figure out what the seats are made of, seat belts are made of. So again, very nice. That thing is stunning. I love this car. Absolutely fantastic looking car. Very, very nice. So again, I really am looking forward to building these. Hoping it won't be too long before I get to them. So which one to build first though? That is the question. Four decals. So there is two sheets in here. Ah. So we do have the tyre ones, they're in there, we've got a big red one, I'm not 100% sure what they're for, no idea but anyway. Onto these, there's a lot less on here and they don't look as high quality either, they're not as crisp, although they're all in register, they are beautiful, if it comes to the closer cam, I'll take you in. You've got Bill Stein. Heller, Shell, Pirelli, Sabelt, Speedline, Recaro, so again we've got Recaro seats, Shell, all the major sponsors, Lombard Rally, this is the Lombard Rally series, which actually did have a couple of stages not far from it, one in Chester, one in New Brighton, uh, I've actually seen these things first hand, not the Group B's, just the normal rally cars, um, absolutely fantastic, so again, awesome. They're not as bad, they're not as good as the other ones, but again, hopefully we shouldn't give any de uh, trouble. But they are nice and in register, they're a bit more satin than the others, they're a bit glossy. But hopefully, they're not going to give any trouble. In here there's a large red sticker. That is actually a sticker. I assume. Is that for seatbelt? A copy of seatbelts. We'll see in a minute. And then we got, although you get that mask, there are also decals for the tyres too, which is a nice touch. So, again, not as many decals on there. I don't think they're as high as quality as the um, Audis. Spot Model do have a hell of a lot of decals on their site, so you can always go on and get more should you wish. Instructions for the Ford. Again, same layout on the front, photocopy, not held together. All the parts are laid out, it's a little bit clearer than the uh, the Audi's one. And there's a bit of information there as well. It's in broken English, unfortunately. Oh, we've got colour in this one. So, a bit more colour. It's a lot more confusing though because the parts aren't broken down as much. There's only two pages of instructions over eight steps. And literally you've got a bombardment there of parts. So yeah, it's going to take a bit more work yeah, to get it done, for sure. I'm trying to see if it tells you what the seatbelt is, it doesn't unfortunately. It's all, pardon me, it's all colour coded at the back, so I'm not sure what that's all about. But these instructions are a lot more busy than the other ones, so I prefer the Audi ones. Although these are crisper. Like I say, you must have about 40 odd parts there to stick on in one step. That's certainly going to be interesting. On the back, again, iconic paint scheme of the RS200. Again, fantastic car. Awesome machine. Absolutely phenomenal. Ridiculously fast. Amazing. I still, still think the Audi's my favourite, but I do like the RS200. RS, by the way, if nobody knows, is Rally Sport. Just so you know. So, there you go. That's the both of them. Overall impressions. A little bit disappointing in the Ford and broken part. I'm going to contact Spot Model about that and see what they say. Um, contact them um, about something called the Audi, which I forget now what it was. I'll look for the video, I remember. Completely forgot what it was. Uh, no, mine's gone blank. I'll have a look for the uh, the review when I go through it and find out. I'll contact them, see if we can get a response before the review goes up. And it does, I'll tag a little something on now to say what they say, just on the bottom here somewhere. And uh, we'll let you get on. So, like I say, a couple of problems there, a lot of clean up, not a kit for the beginner, certainly not at all, you're going to need a lot of patience, um, make sure you set for all those safety rules, clean all that resin up, um, get it all cleaned up in one go and then you can just focus on the build, a couple of broken parts now which we're going to try and sort out, uh, a lot of flash to clean up, a lot of decals on them, so they're going to be a labour of love, which for me I do love these cars, so it shouldn't be a problem at all.
So there you go. So there's a review of the Reggie Models uh, Audi Quattro Sport and the Ford RS200. Have a look on their site. There's loads of different ones. There's uh, Sierra Cosworths on there. Old vintage cars, all the way through to modern day, but a lot of them are out of production, unfortunately. All the nice ones. But certainly have a look and see what you can see. So there you go. Side by side of two kits. Um, different kits as well. I know that you guys wanted to see these, so there you go. Um, there's a review. And like I said, over here from Spot Model, I'll pop it on the video and let you know. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you around, and I'll catch you soon.